using LinkedIn as a candidate sourcing tool. If you are recruiting specialists and professionals, you must be on LinkedIn, period. As at 30th of September 2012, LinkedIn achieved growth rates of two new members per second. And on 9th of January 2013, LinkedIn surpassed the 200 million member mark, available in 200 countries and 19 languages. The people on LinkedIn are often professionals or industry specialists, and a growing number of organisations are finding their candidates on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has the opportunity to create an individual profile, company profiles and groups. Most LinkedIn dialogue happens between individual members, company pages are static, but members can still link their profile to a company. Groups, on the other hand, are dialogue and discussion based forums for members. So how can proactive managers find candidates on LinkedIn? First, you need to set up a LinkedIn profile. Go to linkedin.com to start. The quickest way is to access your resume. If you have a current or recent resume, the bulk of what goes into your LinkedIn profile is in your resume. You will build your profile step by step and then refer to many sections of your resume as you build your profile. Once you have your profile there, there are two main ways to connect with your audience and potential candidates. There are two main ways to find candidates using LinkedIn. First, LinkedIn connections. LinkedIn, above anything, is a site to connect with people and it is through connecting that you increase your chances of gaining access to potential candidates. LinkedIn makes it easy for you to initially build your audience. Once you have created your profile, you will get prompted to go through your Hotmail, Gmail or other email accounts to find people in your network and you can connect with them very easily. Once you have exhausted these networks, you can use the search function to find other people you may know. After linking with this audience, LinkedIn will also prompt you with a list of people you may know, and you can send these people LinkedIn connection invites. When you seek to connect with people in your network, make it a habit not to use the template blurb from LinkedIn, but to send a personal message you will have a much greater chance of success when the LinkedIn request is accompanied by a personal message. As you grow your network, use the tagging function. You can create tags and then label a connection with this tag. By doing this, you are, in effect, building a database of prospective candidates. The greatest benefit is when you have a vacancy that fits with your tagged audience, you can send a bulk email to this audience and ask if they are interested. And if not, ask them to share it with their connections. More than likely, people of a certain discipline will have people of a similar discipline amongst their networks. You can continually build your connections with people of a certain discipline by looking at their connections. Depending on their privacy settings, you can scroll through each person's connections and invite their connections to connect with you. The introduction in, in this case is, I know, insert mutual connection, and would be keen to connect with you. Alternatively, you can ask your first connection to introduce you to their connection. LinkedIn offers a great opportunity for organisations that have a number of similar disciplined employees. These include public practice accounting, engineering consultancy, the legal fraternity, call centres or IT consultants. If you have 10 employees or more of the same discipline, each with their own LinkedIn profile and connections, you can extend your connections through these employees. As the hiring manager, you can build your connections by gaining access through introductions to your employees' connections. This can build your LinkedIn connections significantly. Finally, you may be in an extremely specialised industry. If so, and you know the candidates suitable to your organisation, 
will come from a competitor's organisation, you can change the top LinkedIn search box, setting to search for companies, not people. You can search for competitor companies and view all the people connected to that company. Again, invite them to connect and continue to grow your connections. The other way is through LinkedIn groups. LinkedIn has groups that suit almost every business profile. Some groups may be industry specific, whereas others may link to a major project. For example, there is a Gorgon community for this particular major oil and gas project in Australia's Northwest. Furthermore, groups can be even more specific to subcategories. In the search bar, change the search setting to groups and have a play when you see suitable ones, especially where you think specialist candidates for your organisation will gather. Join the group if it is public or send an invitation request to join the group if it's private. Each group has a discussion page as its main page. While most of the discussions will be general or topical to the group, you will also see job requirements being filtered into the discussion feed. In addition, all groups have a job section that lets you list a job requirement. These are great vehicles to target a niche audience, have dialogue and put your vacancy into the hands of people in the exact candidate grouping that overlaps with your requirement. For more information on using LinkedIn as a candidate sourcing tool, join us at our upcoming forum. Alternatively, join the Harvest HR and Harvest Recruitment Group on LinkedIn.